Okay, particles P and Q are attached to opposite ends of light in extensible spring, string. P is at rest on a rough horizontal table. The string passes over a small smooth, smooth pulley which is fixed at the edge of the table. Q hangs vertically below the pulley. Okay, you can see from the diagram. The force exerted on the string by the pulley has magnitude 4 Z2 Newton. Okay, force exerted on the string by the pulley has a magnitude of force at 2. So that's the pulley. Okay, so force that's exerting um, okay, force that's exerting um, okay, force that's exerted on the string by the pulley okay has a magnitude of force uh, 2 so that's t that's t okay so the pulley is here okay and there's a force that's exerting onto these two string or these two sides of string okay and that force has a magnitude so this is the force that they're talking about okay that is for set 2 okay so this is the magnitude of the force that's exerting on the string okay there's another force that's exerting on the string okay and which gives uh, a tension to the string okay on both sides and the magnitude of the force from the pulley which is exerting uh, on the string as a magnitude of force at 2 okay so which is this okay so you need to understand the question okay what do they mean okay the coefficient of friction between p and the table okay between p and the table is 0.8 so this is p in the table so this is um, mu equals to 0.8 Okay, mu equals to opinion. Okay, now the first question: Show that the tension in the string is four newton and state the mass of Q. Okay, let's do that. Okay, as we know, okay, I've mentioned that you have the magnitude of the force which is exerting on the string as four set two. So if I draw, so I have T and I have another T over here, and then I have for set 2. If these two values are equal, then if I draw a triangle, that's right angle. This angle and this angle must be equal. Okay, this two angle must be equal, which is 45 and 45. Therefore, what I can do, okay, this is also T. So I can use Pythagoras to find um, what is T. Okay, Pythagoras to find the tension. So t square plus t square and this is equal to the hypotenuse which is 4 set 2 square so 2 t square equals to 16 times 2 so t square equals to 16 times 2 over 2 so therefore t equals to square root of 16 which is 4 newton okay 4 newton we got that so state the mass of q okay state the mass of q to find the mass of q at this stage they have not mentioned that it is moving or anything at this stage we assume that it is uh, stationary so if it's stationary there's no motion so therefore t equals to mg okay there's no motion okay it must be going down so this is where ma so or motion this way but since it's not moving so we're just going to um, check it as t equals to mg so whatever force that's acting downward is equal to what's force acting upward so since t equals to mg m is what i want to know and we already got t as 4 so m times by 10 so therefore m equals to 0.4 mq equals to 0.4 kg okay Okay, given that P is on the point of sleeping, find sleep. Okay, it's about to sleep, find its mass. Okay, we have motion should be this way 
and since it has friction so therefore frictional force is acting the opposite of motion okay so from there we know um, <coughs> frictional force is given as F equals to mu R therefore if I want to find F net okay F net okay F net will be F net minus mu r equals to m a at this stage again no acceleration since there's no acceleration so um, I can make f net minus mu r okay equals to zero so therefore the net force that's acting is basically okay the frictional force okay what is the frictional force we have okay uh, okay frictional force which is F net over here is actually the force from uh, the tension from the spring which you already got which is 4 Newton so 4 Newton equals to mu which is 0 0.8 times by R and we know R equals to normal force okay R equals to normal force so M times by G so 4 equals to 0 0.8 times by M which we got as oh that's what we gotta find so times by 10 so therefore um, 4 equals to 8 M and m equals to 4 over 8 which is 0 0.5 kg and which m m at p okay m at p so m at p equals to 0 0.5 kg okay next find the tension in the string while particles are in motion okay oh the other information that we have a particle of mass open more 1 kg is now attached to Q okay we already have Q as 0.4 and now we're going to add another 0.1 so therefore the total is 0.5 kg okay so MQ is 0.5 and this time the particle find the tension the spring okay in the string while the particles are in motion okay now it's moving okay it's moving downward okay m a so if it moves the whole system will be moving down so p will be moving as well so let's find what is the tension okay for to do this we have to split it into two parts i'm going to do it at p okay let's look at, at p so at p we already know there's some friction okay on the surface of um, on the surface of the uh, plane okay so therefore t minus mu r should be m a okay t is what i want to know and mu is given as 0 0.8 and we know r is 0 0.5 which is the uh, mass of the um, particle p and then multiply that by 10 and this is equal to 0 0.5 times by a okay acceleration but the question didn't um, it doesn't require us to find what is a all the one is what is um, t okay so t this should be t minus okay yeah okay so this is t minus mu r so from here t 0 0.8 times 0 0.4 times by 10 is 4 equals to 0.5 a so that's my first equation and next is at q we have we have um, particle q going downward and if that's going downward so it should be mg minus t okay the force downwards greater than the force upwards so mg minus t equal to ma so therefore 0 0.5 because it's 0 0.4 plus 0 0.1 times by 10 minus t equals to 0 0.5 a so this is 5 minus t equals to 0 0.5 a so this is equation 2 so I'm going to equate equation 1 and equation 2 so t minus 4 
equals to 5 minus t. So 2t equals to 9. So therefore t equals to 4.5 Newton.